next part of this build I'm actually going to test in house I have a power supply over here and this here is a 12 volt to, 20, to 35 or 36 volt he adjusted it to step up voltage adjuster I got this for less than I think it's like less than 10 bucks on eBay so you have your that's like this input voltage is on the right hand positive and outputs on your left and they have it so you can mount it to heat sink if you needed to which you won't do that on the bottom you wouldn't want that against a heat sink or a fan and this right here what you're staring at is a 100 watt LED bulb and they have a negative and positive this down here is the negative and that's the positive so my index finger up here is the positive negative down here the thumb which I would have thought that they would have done that for the tabs here on the side I'm going to look that up and see the center here is kind of eye looking to me it's kind of a gel feel to it but I'm going to power it up in t inside the house I believe that's what it is this that can't be the uh, the negative and positive for this plate and this plate because this is solid back here so this has got to be this has got to be the positive I would say it is so this is the positive side right here and this would be your negative side They put CM here, if I guess for common, positive. I don't know. I'll have to look into this and see what the connections are. That'll be the next part here. I gotta step that to 12 volts. Connect my wires to here. And this will adjust the output for 35 volts, 36 volts. Then I will take the wire and either solder it to the tabs or connect it somehow and then we'll do a indoor test which I'm going to put this flat on a heat sink which I should have plenty of uh, hanging around here because it's on a heat sink so let it overheat and we'll see how bright it gets in the, this room once I figure out that it works and I get the battery ch charged up to 12 volts then we'll put it outside and we're going to, I'm going to find a flashlight and do a comparison test for what this does compared to a regular flashlight. And you should be able to see quite a bit with this light here. I do have a floodlight in the back so I might actually compare it to that. So stay tuned. So I got to look in the positive and the negative there's both right here the symbol this is the terminal, that's the terminal. So from here to here is your negative. And from the top, the positive to the bottom plate. So the two holes are negative, the one hole is your positive. So I'm just going to take a solder and wire, solder the wires to that. Once I get the wire soldered to that, I'm going to put it on this plate like this. And I'm going to make sure and put some electrical tape here so it doesn't short out. It shouldn't short out. And I'm going to, the next part of this video clip, I'm going to set up my 12 volts. So I had 12 volts in. And then I'm going to take and turn this so I have the highest output. Then I'll wire that into this. And then we'll do the uh, lighting test. Okay, I have it set up. Here's the trim pot. I got it turned on for 12 volts. It's already up to 31 volts. I'm going to turn the trim pot.
They always have to use a smaller s screwdriver bit. And you can fine tune this. That's what, what I like about it. So 35.3 is the maximum voltage. And it's drawing 0.34 milliamp. 0 0.03. So 30 milliamps. Cool. Next, I'm going to solder this into the, and we're going to plug it into that. First test. Probably won't make it on the internet. So I want to record if anything blows up. Power supply is right here. LEDs to right here. Let's see what happens. You can see the. Uh, power supply in the background. Hopefully we don't have anything blow up. Hopefully it's not too blinding. Woo! She's bright. She's bright. <laughs> yeah, it's in the light off. Okay, what you're seeing is the LED and it's the uh, on the power board. It's discharging its capacitors. And I'm going to, you're looking at a room, it's almost completely dark. There's a little bit of lighting outside. And we're going to plug it in one more time. You can see it's lit up this whole room. This is a halogen 120 volt. You can see how well it lights up. Oh, I got my test jig over here. Alright, we're gonna. Fire it up. You can see the trees. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see the trees. Uh, refocus that. So I'm going to wait for the batteries, the uh, capacitors. there there's the trees it lights up all the way to the top of the trees <laughs> let me uh let me move this further Show the agent. So if I'm being more down to the grass, I'm gonna get it mounted into a fixture and be able to see it better. This is off 12 volts. Here's Sam's new flashlight in the making. Seen in the video, um, it was kind of dimly lit towards the garage. And you see this here is a lens. Now I took this out of a rear projection screen. 
this actually focused the beam onto the back of the mirror. Um, if you have access to that, then this is what you'll need. I'll show you an example of what it looks like. It's ex extremely bright. And once the uh, battery charges up, and I have everything in the housing, I will take it out and show you how far this thing will actually beam. As you see right now in pitch darkness, um, I'm going to turn the light on again, show you. And that's how it is like that. Okay. Now watch what I put the lens there. I'm actually focusing the beam onto the garage.